Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called IP Man. Mm -hmm. Otherwise known as Ip Man, otherwise known as Yip Man, otherwise known as Sivu. Uh, you know, they call them a bunch of different names, but uh, that's kind of irrelevant. But something to say is, I think everybody's going to know this as IP Man, so I'll just introduce it as that. This is a 2008 movie, and it is rated R. It runs an hour and 45 minutes, and it stars Donnie Yen, Simone Yam, and Su Wong Fan. And the description, if you've never heard of this movie, During the Japanese invasion of 1937, when a wealthy martial artist is forced to leave his home and work to support his family, he reluctantly agrees to train others in the art of Wing Chun, for self-defense. This is IP Man. Well, um, the reason why I'm doing this review, uh, I hope people do watch it eventually, uh, is because the fourth one just came out of this series. It's the final one. That's the title of it. And so I decided to go back and watch all of them because I've never heard of this series. Um, I might have heard somewhere along the way the introduction of the name uh, of IP Man, but I've never watched the movies. So I'm, I've spent my Sunday watching all four of them, and I was able to access all four of them because the first three are on Netflix. And the fourth one I was able to watch a different way. And I think this is arguably the best movie out of the four. Um, I was trying to think in terms of, you know, people back in 2008 when this was made thinking, oh, here's a nice, you know, kung fu movie. Uh, people are trying to introduce a new character. Um, you know, I'm sure they had other martial arts kind of movies to watch back then but this one is in subtitles so it would have been kind of a you know crouching tiger hidden dragon kind of thing like people either would have you know found their way to watch this movie and really like it or not and um you know obviously the makers of this movie probably were thinking in terms that this would be the only movie that they had and so that's how it was made, you know, um, the story speaks to that and it does have a definitive ending. So if this would have been the only one that they ever made, I think people would have understood. And I was thinking that way when I was watching it for the first time was, yeah, this is a pretty definitive ending, you know, and they didn't have to go forward with this, but obviously the demand was high. So they ended up making another one. So um, yeah, let's get talking about the first one though, which I think is arguably one of the best ones in this is this is the best movie in the series. Um, I did think it was a little weird with the war and the homelessness that happens in this movie. Um, for the first, you know, 20, 30 minutes, you have this stuff going on, you have a good fight scene or two, and then boom, there's war and everybody's homeless. And I was like, wow, that was a quick switch. And like, and I didn't see it coming. I didn't know where the story was going to go. I've never heard of this movie. But I didn't expect that. And so that was very much uh, kind of a strike right away. Was like, man, I, like, where's this movie going to go? You know, like, what's going to happen in this movie? So I didn't really understand the strategy of it. And it is the first one. So I was like... Um, well, I was fine with that, you know, and I, it, it was kind of weird. To, it wasn't bad. It just threw me off guard. And then I saw that the <clears throat> the purpose of the movie was for uh, it to be a little historical and for the characters to earn their way through this struggle. And I thought the struggle was actually a really good concept, a really good um, thing for the characters to grow through. Um only because of the knowledge that you have as the movie viewer of knowing that they're going to be going past this movie, you know. So the characters that actually persevered 
would actually matter in the future. That's kind of, you know, it's kind of weird watching the first one of a series like that, but that's kind of what I had at my disposal, so. Um, yeah, it kind of did have some amazing battles at the beginning. This is what I thought the whole movie might be, actually. And when I was watching the first 20, 30 minutes, I thought, you know, if this is what the whole movie is going to be like, that's great. Because it kind of reminded me of the movie Zorro, just, you know, kind of fighting for the people and, you know, being a symbol. And um, uh, IP Man is not like that necessarily, but pretty close, you know, and that's kind of what this movie turns into. And so I just really appreciated the battles. I didn't see what was coming and... I was very happy with what came right away. That was amazing. Uh, the Since it has to go through this struggle, it does get very emotional. And it threw me off guard that it was going to be this kind of movie. It really did. Um, so it has that going for it. That is very emotional. Um, the setup for the big fight at the end... Um, It's it's funny that, uh, you know, like almost every movie that has to deal with fighting or whatever is kind of made in this way that there's a huge fight at the end and you need all this setup for it because it just kind of prolongs the inevitable. And uh, it's weird watching a movie like that because you know what's coming, you know what's going to happen at the end. I mean, how can people watch Rocky over and over and over again because it's a classic and even though they know what's coming at the end they don't care they just like watching to enjoy the feeling of the movie and the tenseness of build up to the fight in the actual fight well that's what this movie has going on for it and uh, I could rewatch it just for the build up to the fight and this amazing fight at the end so of course of course it ends with this huge fight and then it gets all historical on us and I think that you know they truly did think this was going to be the only one of this movie ever so I really appreciate the ending I appreciate what happens I uh, worked my way through the subtitles um, it's very brutal with the fighting and I didn't see that coming either you know and they talk about this being a self-defense style but Still, this guy kicks the crap out of people, and it's amazing to watch. It's really fun, really entertaining. Uh, my one thing that I really, really have a problem with, and I'll say this in the other reviews for this movie, if you want to watch those sometime too, is that the element of a guy fighting a woman, it really has that, and it's really uncomfortable to watch in any setting whatsoever and I don't care if it's over in China or if it's because of a battle or if it's because women are pro fighters I don't like seeing a guy fight a woman it just is not any fun to watch and I hate that they have that element in all these movies but necessarily in the first one because people are starting to they're trying to stand up for their country and their civil rights and all this other stuff. And so the women do step up, but it's still uncomfortable. It's still weird. And um, that's going to be an element uh, in any movie that I just don't like. So I think for that and just for the little bit of prolonging the story, I'm going to give IP Man a B+. Plus. I do advise watching this movie, and I hope you watch my reviews for the upcoming 2, 3, and 4 movies. And I hope you seek these out to watch for yourself, to get your own uh, opinion about them. But I think really the first one is the best. So looking back, I'm always going to state that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, and um, give it a try. Seek it out, and give IP Man a try that I give a B plus to. Thanks a lot guys, my name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try to give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies, thanks.